All right, everybody, how's it going? Ricky Bobby here, Ricky Bobby's Reef, Southern Ontario, Palms and Tropicals. And the fish tank is a smidgen hazy only because I am starting to dose a little bit of kelp wasser in my ATO. Whole other subject, we'll get to it later. And look at, we got some nori flying around. That bubbles, man. When that, when that nori comes in the tank, he just goes for it, pulls it out, pulls it out of this cool clip. And it's all over the place. Anyway, it's all good. They'll get it. So today, I got something for you guys. Kind of neat. And we are over here to the bar. The bar. We have a red sea star is what the general name is. I think it's, what is it called? Formelli. Oh, man. Sorry, guys. Honestly, I cannot remember the name of the genus. However, a lot of places sell them as red reef safe stars if you want to google that okay so <clears throat> one of the reasons why i wanted this particular star is that it's been at my aloe fest for two months and his tanks are pretty you know established there's lots of algae there's all kinds of neat things there so that's good so i come back two months later and the starfish is doing well which is a good sign so these guys like a combination of mollusks and algae and things like that. So you want to make sure that you have a, you know, a mature tank. So my problem with my tank is, yeah, we do get some algae. We do have some hair algae that I do leave. I don't take it off. A little bit of hair algae right there and right there. So I leave things like that for some of the grazers and for some of the crabs and things like that. So, I mean, it's a very small amount. So the only issue with this guy is accl acclimation is huge with sea stars. And uh, so what I just realized using my Hannah checker here was that the water this guy came from at the LFS was like 1.021 specific gravity, 1.022, like holy crap. And I'm running 1.025, 1.026 is my biggest variance. So what I've been doing is I've been taking tank water and slowly acclimating and pouring. I, I mean, I'm not doing a drip. I'm just basically, you know, taking this bad boy, put a little bit in like that. I mean, really there's, there's, um, you know, a quarter of a gallon of water in here. And then I added a little bit of nori too, just to see if the bugger was hungry, but obviously it's probably pissed off. But anyway, um, so this is gonna go on for a while. Slowly gonna warm the water temperature up. We're slowly gonna bring the salinity over which is, you know what? I thought this was gonna be a quick acclimation, meaning like a half hour or so. This is probably gonna take the whole night. So I might even drop a heater in here um, and leave them in here for a while to slowly warm up the water because the water was, I think 74. Actually, I'm gonna show you guys. Hold on one second. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, oops, my bad. Oh, by the way, I wanted to tell you, I wanted to tell you guys, I just became a father again. We have a beautiful new baby girl, uh, Avery Lynn, and uh, we're so happy. She's doing so well. So we just got home from the hospital a couple days ago. Me and my wife are so uh, happy and proud, and uh, my daughter is doing really well, being a big sister. So uh, today I wanted to get this sea star, uh, you know, Patrick, <laughs> uh, for my daughter. Uh, you know, she's always wanted one again. It's been a while since we've had one. So anyway, uh, that's kind of what's going on. Uh, with that. So this is the reason why we got the sea star and my shirt is off because I had been dipping my arm in the tank to uh, I moved a coral and I added some uh, nori for my tang. So sometimes the tank is so deep that the water will come up to my shoulder. So that's the only reason why. So anyway, we are going to slowly acclimate this guy over many hours as I was just saying and uh, we will let you know in a while. Oh, this is what I was going to show you guys. My Hannah tester was just calibrated the other day, okay? What do we got? I've been slowly adding water in here. Oops. Okay, yeah. So I'm bringing the water, now it's 1.024. A little while ago it was 1.023. As you can tell the temperature, oh, not bad. A little cool. Basement's cool. So we were gonna work on that slowly as well, but anyway. Uh, I'll show you exactly the rest of the process in a minute. All right. So we have a little 50 watt heater in here and it's turned way down because obviously uh, a quarter of a gallon of water, even set at 70 degrees could overheat. So we're watching it. We're just bringing the temperature up a little bit slowly. So 
uh, sea stars, not starfish, because they're not fish, sea stars, they're super sensitive to salinity changes, pH changes, uh, parameters. Overall, they are very sensitive and very hard to keep um, in captivity. Now, actually, when I was a kid, I had a blue linkia star, beautiful. And uh, yeah, I had it for a long time until I got out of the hobby and sold it with my tank. So I have been proven to have sea stars, no problem. <coughs> Excuse me. However, one thing I've learned, and uh, I'll tell you about this, is quarantine. So according to Humblefish, who is the god of aquarium, marine biology, and quarantine procedures, and medicine, all those things. Look him up, Humblefish, I think it's .com. There's a lot of information about him on reef 2 .com as well. It's one of the big uh, forums. Um, he says that there is no quarantine period needed for a star. However, what you need to do is you need to take it, keep it in the water, of course, and basically do a tank transfer method, but just from like, say, here to here, and to give it basically a rinse that ick, uh, ick trophants uh, supposedly do not uh, adhere to stars, I believe is what he said, don't quote me. Um, so basically, if there's any free swimming uh, ick trophants or you know, full font, whatever, full font, bull bont, plants that are out there, you basically take this guy, give him a rinse, keep him in the water, keep him wet, take him to another spot, give him a rinse, give him a rinse a couple times, keep him wet and, and in tank water that's already balanced. And then supposedly your um, QT is complete. And we will know uh, in the next couple days if we did everything successful. However, also, uh, you know, my favorite word, however, the tank that this guy came from, all there was a couple clownfish in there and everybody looked great. Everybody looked just fine. So that's a good indication as well that we're doing something in the right direction, okay? So stick with me here and then we'll show you the next uh, procedure. And by the magic of movies and videos, there's Patrick Starr. So hopefully Humble Fish's procedure worked good. So I wanna tell you this to you guys. Uh, we had another star months ago. Um, it was red with a bunch of white circles on it. I forget the name, that's okay. It's not. It's irrelevant. Um, we put in our small QT tank that we had for our fish. Uh, obviously it was too small, didn't have the rock, didn't have all the detritus, didn't have all those things for it to eat. That's why Humblefish said you have to do this procedure of basically getting in the tank. But it took hours to acclimate this little guy because of the salinity issues, um, the alkalinity, and all the above. So we dripped and we saw I poured lightly we did the heater, warmed them up very slowly to temperature of the tank. And the temperature of the tank is now on the ink bird, 78.3, which is good. We put him in at his tank water was 78. And right now he's over a spot. That's the spot where we have lots of algae. And I keep it there on purpose for my fish and grazers and crabs, like I said before. So um, we will do an update, hopefully in a while and we'll show you guys how he does but what's good about a star like this is i mean they do get bigger but we wanted to get one that was you know relatively small so if you look at the tank in the grand scheme of things you can tell that he has room to move etc so hopefully he does really well and they are considered reef safe and uh, i just want to thank you guys for watching uh something cool i wasn't going to do a video about this today but i did because my wife was feeding our our new daughter upstairs and uh, I thought, hey, why not a good time to, to film a quick video? I am, like I said before, I'm not trying to compete with all the other uh, YouTubers and all that. It's kind of like our mom pa version of things. And I really hope you enjoyed it. And um, please uh, subscribe and, and uh, like um, if, you, if you enjoy these videos. And uh, I really appreciate you guys taking your time out of your busy days to watch. So thank you so much. And Patrick Starfish is out.